What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of the podcast. I believe this is episode... 16. 16. Um, we just got back from Granite Games about a week and a half ago. It was fun. We, if, you don't, haven't, if you don't watch him on YouTube already, where we talk a little bit more about it, uh, we took fourth overall, which is cool and also kind of upsetting at the same time because we were so freaking close. But uh, today we want to kind of talk about more in depth of the experience, how it went, all that. Yeah. So first one, like paint a picture in everyone's head of like getting there, how it was. To the qualifier. We did the qualifier. There was four workouts for the qualifiers? Five. Three five, the first week, second the next week. Five qualifier workouts. And you had to put your scores of your team of three up against the other teams of three. And then you had to get top 40 for RX plus, then the next 40 RX, and then intermediate scaled. So we had to do that first when we got there. We were 18 places, 14, 13, 13 places from RX plus. RX plus. We were pretty close to RX plus. And essentially how it went was it was yeah intermediate RX, RX plus, and then... I don't think there were any games athletes in RX Plus. Like there were definitely a lot of like yeah, pretty people. fit dudes, but yeah, everyone that was all the games athletes were formed teams in four. teams of four because and then they can get to the CrossFit Games. Exactly. Yeah. So. I will say I'm a little disappointed that they didn't ask for any of our videos for the qualifiers. Because uh, I wonder like, who they did ask for. Probably just the games athletes. People, what do you like, think? People you think the teams the of four and individuals. Mm -hmm. So Grand Games, if you ever watch this, please can you like weed out some of the people that maybe cheated on RX, RX Plus, just to make it nice. Because, not to say that uh, those guys that are in our division weren't fit, but there were some people that, like, I looked at some of the bottom teams, and it was like, their best finish was like a 30th something. Well, no, because I, th I think any RX teams that don't get uh, bought out, they sell them to anybody who wants to be there. So, it's for RX, or you think RX, just If they have any RX left, I think they, they'll sell them. Interesting. So, I wonder. I wonder. I read on the website, like anything that they don't sell. True, because they could, they had so many that probably qualified, but then they didn't want to go or pay or to do it. didn't have the money. Yeah. So yeah. it was seven hundred dollars just to Keep compete. Talking. I'm turning the AC. Okay, oh. just to compete in the competition is seven hundred dollars. So we did the qualifiers. We got there, and then we just started planning on how to raise money to get there because it ending up it ended up being a little bit over three thousand dollars. Uh, for us to go So that was awesome. Huddy did lots of burpees. He's got burpees left to do. <laughs> yeah, everyone was pissed I didn't finish all the burpees. I was even you. I was pissed. Yeah, yep. I mean 2k swim dude Didn't finish 2,000 burpees. That wasn't finish. up to me Whatever. <laughs> That was up to the security guard. Whatever, dude. We could have took we could have taken him. Yeah, all I right. ended up doing a little over 1600 burpees and my shoulders are still sore Four days later. That's what you get. Yeah. All right, so when we get there uh, we've been there before, so this was nice that we didn't have to look around to see where we were going because we knew the registration was you walk in the hockey stadium, you walk up, you sign your waiver, you get your bag of stuff, you get your name placed on your arm, um, number, your number, and then that's pretty much it for day one because it was check-in on Thursday and then we started competing on Friday. So we already knew what times we were going. The workouts were released online because they changed some of them. Um, and that's pretty much it about getting there. So and it was nice being RX because our heats were a little bit later in the day Yes, being an <laughs> intermediate last year guys We would one our earliest one was like 6 a.m. And with it and over there is two hours ahead of here Yeah, so it was like us waking up at 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah, it was brutal For a 5k run. It wasn't, yeah. a, it wasn't a fun workout. It wasn't a fun workout to wake <laughs> up to So I did we definitely got more sleep this year uh, Being that it started a little bit later in the day, which was so nice. Yeah, so much better. And it was funny too because it kind of took us a while to get the funds up to reserve a spot, so there wasn't much oh, yeah. for Airbnbs. Airbnbs or anything. So we rented this super puny cabin. I, if I had to guess, I'd probably say like, like looking around in here, it's smaller than, than this living room. I'd have to say it's like 600 square feet total, yeah, but it was pretty, two stories. Pretty small. It had two bedrooms. One of the bed, one of the beds just was in like a loft area, so it had like a total of four beds because one of the bedrooms had a bunk bed in it. But it was kind of cool, and it was kept everything really homey feeling. Yeah, it was probably like half our living room was the downstairs. Yeah, like kitchen included. Yeah, it was it was kind of cool. Yeah, but it was nice. But um, so we wake up first day. Like he said, we already knew where everything was, so that was really nice because the warm bear was the same spot where the rig was the same spot. Uh, obviously, everything on the field was the same. So day one workout. How are you feeling? Day day one feeling. How did you wake up feeling that day? 
nervous like I did every day. I get really, really anxious and nervous and I have a hard time eating, so I like choked down some Greek yogurt and ate uh, one out of two waffles. <laughs> well, what do you what do you think when you're when you wake up? What am I thinking? Is it literally just like subconscious? Like you're not even really thinking, but just like you know what's gonna happen, so like it kind of gets to you. Or do you, are you like are you consciously thinking in your head? No, I'm this not. This gonna go like this and blah blah. blah no, or? I'm not. I'm not really thinking like oh my gosh, this workout. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's more like man, I'm gonna be in a lot of pain today. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put myself in a lot of pain today, and then I just know. I don't know. I just know like being out on the field. Like I don't want to do bad so it's kind of like you mentioned the other day like I think it was a, after the competition ended you were like I do a good job of not pushing myself as hard in my training so when it comes to the workouts or the competition I can push harder that's a trick dude you just gotta that's, go, what, that's what Hudson does you just gotta go 80% so Hudson so that I, way you don't know what you're capable of so you're like oh it's not gonna be that bad yeah what Hudson does in training is he goes about like 80% always he never hits like that max peak output uh, and the reason I say that is because we'll, we'll, he'll miss like a 185 snatch like 18 times in a row and then we get to a competition and he hits like 215. Like it was nothing. And I'm like, dude, where was the effort when we were training? And that happens in a lot of workouts. Like for example, touch and go cleans. I don't know where the fuck touch and go cleans came from for Hudson, but thinking about the Granite Games, he decided I'm gonna touch and go these cleans, <laughs> which he has never done before. It's, I'm usually the one doing stupid shit like, I'm gonna try to hang on to this barbell at 185. He's usually like, I'm gonna do one at a time. So he gets to the competition and we do touch and go the whole time. So yeah. that's Hudson. I just like training. competing. Competing, yeah. I like to push. It's, yeah. it's, it's different because I, like, I like competing. It just makes me really nervous. Especially when I'm next to you too, because it's less, I don't know, it's not a high stick situ situation. It's not like we're like competing to, we don't have a leaderboard every day. I'm like that one time a few years ago when we like, you were nervous. Yeah, yeah, it was, was nerve-wracking. Yeah. Nerve um, now, when it comes to competition, I just freaking love the butterfly feeling. And it, it makes it naturally gets you like pumped up and warm and like, okay, I'm gonna just go. And it's like, if you think about the pain, that's when it hurts. It's like, I kind of like I was telling Dan, it's like, if you honestly just give it all you got and then focus on like exactly what you're doing with the movie, everything you got. Is, yeah. Like, you don't, it, it won't hurt as much. Whereas if you, you kind of like, as soon as you set the bar down for doing a set of cleans, like that's when you're like, oh fuck, that hurts. Yeah. Nothing, you're not doing anything, so instantly you think about how your body feels. Where it's like, if you're just going, you, you spend less time thinking. Yeah. So, I tell you that on the assault bike, why don't you go faster? The assault. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing works for me on the assault bike. No. Um, all right, so get there first day. What's workout one? Workout uh, one was the best climbing, one for us. climbing worm. So the workout is 30, 20, 10 worm clean and jerks. So from the floor, shoulder, overhead, back down to the floor. You must show control on the shoulder. And then the rope climbs were 10, 8, 6. But it doesn't matter what anything else was because we only got through 30 and 10. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there was 40 teams in our division. We took 27th on that one. Yeah. That was our worst placing the whole day or the whole weekend. And that one, I, I was definitely worried after that one, but it wasn't like I was like, oh, like, I was afraid that if the whole day went like that, Ugh. like, imagine starting the second day, like, in 30th place. Yeah, I would, it would have been so frustrating. We were pretty much at 30th place. Yeah. Um, so, that workout, 30-20-10, a lot of teams beat us, obviously. Um, when it got to the rope climbs, we did the, I wonder how long it took us to do the rope climbs. Five seconds. Yeah, like, we crushed the 10 rope climbs. Just, the clean and jerks, literally was a shit show. If you don't already follow Roderick Lopez on Instagram, oh, I got you, you, have it on, you have it on your Instagram, right? I didn't post it. I don't want to. <laughs> if you well, guys comment, all the other workouts are on Comment there. down below if you want us to post that workout. If this video gets 100 likes, I'll post the video. <laughs> <laughs> I think Five have, years from now, I think we have 32 subscribers. So make sure you tell your friends. Yeah. 100 likes, and I'll release the video of us dying through the worm. It was just, literally a shit show. I just want to just picture this, guys. Go ahead and go to your gym. Find a 150 pound sandbag. <laughs> just bang it against your face. Yeah. Well, try to so stand facing this way. Try to stand up and put it on your shoulder, and then go overhead, and then set it down, and then try to do that 30 times. And then in also, with the yeah, people. also get two other people with 150 pound sandbags and try that out. Because we didn't know how to use the fucking worm, we but weren't it was keeping, a four person worm. Ugh, it was just, we just didn't know how to do it. it so the bad. year before they had a worm, but it was, it was by a rec bag, right? I think it was yeah, a rec bag worm. Rec and it was a three worm. person worm, and we did fine with it. It was, it was light, and it wasn't bad. It we was were, not bad at we all. We were intermediate last year. But this year, it was a four person worm. I think they were trying to save let me see. equipment and moving stuff and needing extra stuff because there was the worm teams was, before also. The worm was lighter last year as well. Yeah, for sure. It was two, 280, I think. This year is 315. So it was only. 
30 pounds, 50, 35 pounds heavier, which yeah, isn't just, too bad, but it's just the motion. Of it was so, yeah, it was, it was longer than normal. It was miserable. Um, uh, and it was just really awkward. So first event, 27th place, we weren't too uh, pumped. And not only that, we were then going into what we, what I anticipated to be the worst workout for us the whole weekend, which was a 17k row split up between the three of us. Uh, I was just expecting this one to, just I was, I was super nervous for being able to hold a good pace. I I anticipated so, especially I. This was a good thing for us that the the two so they had 40 rowers lined up on the that was pretty cool. on the turf. In the, in the middle of the day, and it was like at least 80 it was degrees like 80 outside. Degrees. We were roasting on the turf, um, especially Dan. He lives in he's lived in Alaska for the past year. Yeah, Dan is whiter than paper. But um, we were our strategy was to do two minutes each. So you, know, you get two, two minutes two, of work, two. four minutes of rest, and then we eventually went down pretty quickly to a minute and a half each. And then towards like because the last, of me, you're welcome. Well, that, that worked out perfectly. I would have wanted that too. And then like towards like the last, maybe like five, six thousand, I would say we switched to like a minute uh, each, maybe less than that, uh, less of a distance left. Uh, we switched to that. But um, luckily, we had two really, really fast teams next to us. The team that took second was next to us, um, and they did thirty seconds. They did the thirty second sprints. The entire time. There was so many transitions. It was funny because we started off with our two, and I'd be going, and like I just hear them like, all right, switch, 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 and I'm like, I'm still going. How many times are you guys gonna? This guy yeah. was like on the rower three times. By the time I was still doing my my single interval. Yeah. Um. But I think because of that, I would keep looking at theirs, and I was like, damn, I gotta do better. They're, they're five hundred ahead of us. They're a thousand ahead of us. So like, I wouldn't slow down. Whereas I feel like they were. I don't think they're a thousand ahead of us because they finished fifty six. We finished fifty eight. Well, two minutes and think. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. But they, they held, were definitely, a, they were definitely. They held a 139 average the whole 56 minutes. Yeah, they were savages. And that's including all the intervals. Sam Briggs, or the Sam Briggs can do that by herself. Mr. Sam Briggs? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the average, probably significantly slower, but the average split times for the uh, athletes when they did the marathon row. How about the half marathon? It's probably closer to 17K. Yeah. I know Jason Kalipa won it and he was at a 153. Really? For an hour and a half. Or an hour and ten or something. Well, they, I'm glad that it was just uh, three of us splitting it up. Yeah. Um, I I was happy with my performance. Were you? Yeah, as fast as I, I, we held a 143 average. The 143 average, including Dan, who was going a little bit faster. Yeah. So Still, that was the best I've ever rode my whole life. Yeah, so we ended up taking 22nd on the workout. 20th, 20th on the workout. Flat. Um, so that was, and that we were very surprised with that one, very pleased because I, I had no clue what to do. I, or what was. It was, expect. I'll say this, it was just super nice finishing the row and looking around and still seeing people. Oh, rowing. yeah. And I was like, thank God. Yeah, even taller athletes, too. There's tall athletes still rowing. I was like, we're savages. Yeah, we are. We yeah. are fitness. We are farmers. Imagine if we were six foot. We would we'd have flown. If we were a little bit taller, if yeah. we weren't the shortest people there. Yeah, but then we would have sucked at the... Everything, everything else. else. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, good, good. maybe good thing we're not that tall. Yeah. Anyways. Um, so we, we took a 27th first workout, 20th the second workout, and then the third workout of the day, the last one. Fast Assault, which was 200 meter run, 15 shoulder to overhead, three rounds, each of us. So the second I finished running, they started running, and I went to the shoulder to overhead. When he finished running, he went to the bar, the other person started running. So let's reenact it. So you're running, I'm resting. All right, you finish the run, you're on the shoulder <laughs> overhead, I'm running. So by the time he, he'll finish this his is shoulder, his, I fucking did him faster than this, dude. He has this on his Instagram if you want to see this. He he would finish his. Oh, that was way more than fifteen. He finishes his shoulder overhead before you'd finish the run, so yeah. that you'd go to the bar and the next person behind you'd go on. So it's, yeah. it was waterfall style, but it was Honestly, that one we took fifteen. Watching this video, we should have ran faster. Like the shoulder overhead were f fucking easy. Wasn't we should we should just push. I remember it last year when it was heavier. Yeah, it was one sixty five, and I think it was for nine. Yeah, one sixty five for nine was gross last year, yeah. and that was the first workout last year. That was year. a very no, that was the second, second one. one. Was it the second or the first? I can't remember. I want to say it was the first, and the second one was the, the gymnastics stuff. That's why we were sitting in second the first yes, day. Yes, that's right, that's right. Yeah, so it was the very first workout last year, so definitely our conditioning yeah. or shoulder strength's gotten better. <clears throat> so that yeah. workout we ended up taking 15th, 15th on. So not bad. I think at the end of the day we were the 22nd or 20th. Yeah, I think we were, we're 22nd. After we were good. <laughs> we shook. Yeah. We looked at the leaderboard, we're like, oh, that's over. So essentially, in that my was the end of day one, yeah, and in, in my head, going waking up the second day, I was like, the goal is now 
to do as the absolute best you can, just not get a, a shit placing. Yeah. I don't want to go into this doing worse than I did last year in a higher division. I, we might as well just keep crushed, like not get let that get in our head and keep doing our best so that way we can still have respectable places. The reason Huddy was nervous though is because he wanted to propose to his girlfriend on the podium. <laughs> So I didn't think about that though at I'm, all. I've never seen Hudson day. almost cry except when I told him we got fourth. <laughs> I was a little bummed. Yeah, <laughs> that was frustrating. Because uh, we'll, we'll get to it. Yeah. All right. Um, so after the day one, we went to dinner. Where'd we go? Oh, we went to this. I don't. I didn't like the restaurant. It was weird. I had chicken wings. What was the restaurant? I don't remember. It was like there was a bunch of Indian food there. I don't know. Like I had wings because I felt like wings, and I had something else. They didn't even have cheese curds. <laughs> What the fuck, man? I want cheese curds. Um, I can't remember. Uh, Dan had some fish. I can't remember what you had. And I had flatbread. Remember I had flatbread? And yes. Hummus? Yeah, we saw Hunter McIntyre there. Yeah. Yeah, he's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways. Uh, we went home. I think I got a We had bone sleep. broth. Bone broth. Bone yeah, broth, bone broth was, the was the shit. Thanks, Dan, for putting us onto it. Mad yeah. farts. Mad farts. Um, but, uh... Yeah, we fueled up, we did as best we could, and then we tried to go to sleep, and I, I couldn't sleep. I didn't fall asleep till like, 1 in the morning. But again, luckily, we didn't have to get up. We didn't have to leave till like, 9, 8 or 9. Yeah. So, it was cool. So, first so, workout, second day? Second day was speed sync. So, that was the muscle-ups. So, how the workout... We thought it was going to be 20 muscle-ups, 30, 30, 30, 30, but it ended up being 30 muscle-ups, 30 snatches, 30 toes to bar, 30 snatches, that's it. Um, and it was fast. It was, yeah, speed sync. It had to be synchronized muscle ups, and then it had to be synchronized toes to bar. And we originally planned, we, it was 20 muscle ups, so we had like a good plan going in. And then we were like, oh, it's 30? We'll keep this similar plan. So we went 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Uh, and it was cake. Easiest muscle ups of my life. <laughs> yeah. Hoodie did all the dumbbell snatches. That, that workout was good for us. We yeah. Didn't, so, um, luck, so let's tell them about our split. So for the, you tell them already? I can't space that for a second. You say the split? 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So we did 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 on the bar muscle ups. Yeah. It, would, it would go 1, 2, eight, yeah. two well, 3, tell. 1, 3. I did 8 and 7. Did you start with 8? So me and Huddy yeah. did 8. Me and Dan did 7. You and Dan did 6. Mm -hmm. I did uh, 5. I did 6, 5, and 4, I believe. No. I did 6. With me. And then you and Dan did... Me and Dan did five, you and Dan did four, uh, and then I came out and did the dumbbell yeah. snatches. And then Huddy uh, just did all the dumbbell snatches because he's a greedy mofo. Because I'm short. He didn't so want to He didn't want us to fucking shine. That's <laughs> why he really did. And you finished every other workout the rest of the week. Whatever, dude. Um, this, this weekend. But, uh, and then on the toes to bar, we, Dan, oh, yeah, shit. Dan was like, I told Dan, should we do 30 on broken? And he's like, I can hold on for 30. And I was like, I'll see how I feel. Whoever calls it, that person will run back. So we didn't have any question of like, Last one, and we both drop. It's like, okay, who's gonna go back? No. Mm -hmm. So I was dying. My hands were slipping. I think we were at 14, and I was like, no, you did 16. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was, at, I was 14, at 14, yeah, yeah. and I was like, last rep, dude. We're getting 16. And I finished 16, and I just sprinted back. Huddy went, and he started doing. And me and Dad did 14. But yeah. I, it, I could see him get to the point where like your yeah. grip started to go, yeah. and you yeah. had to like re grip every He's time. Like, like, missed, his hands over. were slipping. He grabbed the bar weird with his grip, but he did it. He did 30 fucking toes the bar. Yeah. And then Huddy finished the. Ran out, did a dumbbell snatch. I was standing behind him. I was like, "Oh, I can go fast." Uh, in my head, I was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna fucking rip this thing so hard." And then he kept going and going. And I was like, "I guess I'll just sprint to the finish." <laughs> so I like set up and I sprinted to the end. Uh, we got fourth on that event. Yeah. Again, if you guys want to see these, Roger has mostly yeah. up on his. Instagram. Roger Lopez. So follow him. Um, yeah. So that was a big confidence boost. Yeah, like, I was pumped, pumped because I knew the rest of the day could be like that, which it pretty much was. Like the rest of the day was workouts in our favor, where it's like yeah. more like. A little more uh, skill, gymnastics. It was CrossFit um, workouts. It was CrossFit. Okay. It wasn't just picking up a heavy object yes. or just rowing your ass off. Yeah. Uh, there was more CrossFit type workouts, which uh, were really we're good, good at CrossFit. CrossFit. Yeah, so luckily yeah. that was nice. So um, if we got to the games, we would do good on maybe half of the workouts. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, invite us to the games. We'll go. We'll show Hunter how to do CrossFit. He can show us how to do running. Yeah. I'll crush uh, Murph and not anything else. So, just because all those pull-ups. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe, probably not. Yeah. Anyways, uh, second workout. The second workout was only like t two hours after. So, literally, we like... We finished. We, we tried to mobilize. We got bit, our quads yeah. ready. And then we warmed up. And this one was called Jumping Clean, which was 70, 50, 30 drag rope double-unders. RX Smart Gear. Check them out, guys. It is a light rope, which makes it hard to do double-unders. It gets you, you pumped. You flick it harder. Yeah. That's what she said. 
And uh, then the cleans were 2015 10, and the weight was 185, 205, 225. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the one that I talked about earlier where Hudson was like, I'm going to do touch and go as many as I can. And Dan was like, Are you sure? So the strategy was <laughs> so warming up, I felt good. And then when it comes to, when it comes, like, again, I like that butterfly feeling in my stomach. And when it comes to workouts, it's like, I'm going to send, send it. it. Um, Especially if it's short like this. Yeah, on a workout that we know we can do well at. And I, and in, in my eyes, when, when we started warming up for this workout, and I saw the people doing the drag rope, and they weren't struggling as much as I thought they were, I was like, oh, we have to go. I thought people would be kind of like all over themselves because last year when Rx Marker had it in the Granite Games, like people were like, oh, I'm doing like, like two drop, two yeah. drop. But in the warm-up area, people were crushing it. So I was like, oh, so this workout needs to be fast. They, so They thought they were crushing it. Dude. Yeah, we ended up crushing, crushing them. So then the strategy was he was going to do all the dubs, I would do a big set of cleans, Dan would hopefully finish them, and then Roger would start the next set. No, the original plan was you do six cleans, Dan does six cleans, you do six cleans, and he does four. Yeah, that was That it. was the original plan, and I finished the double letters, and how do you went and did 12 cleans. I did so, so and then did you hear Dan, like, he next to me, he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, no, now I have to finish these. And I was like, good luck, buddy, and he ran out there and he did it. Yeah, but... Like, as soon as I was going, it felt so cake. I was Probably like, so six, easy. six has been way too little. And yeah. I was like, I don't want to come out here and do another set. Like I was think, saying earlier, like as soon as you yeah, rest, when you start to feel it. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to get my whole set done now. So I, I did 12, and then I remember tapping Dan's hand. I said, I can do more if you need me to. And he said, okay, but then he ended up finishing all. Yeah, he, he did, did eight. eight. So was and then you guys threw the weights on, and then I started the double. And then you started your, the set of 50, and you yeah. were going so fast. Like, oh, shit, we made a huge yeah. mistake. Dan, Dan said that, too. Dan was like... You were, we wanted a little bit of rest and it didn't look like we were going to get any. I, I'm really good at double unders, guys. Yeah, he's a double under guy. I fucking, I crushed it. Um, go, so on then, my, go on my Instagram and watch those double unders. Next was 15 at 205 and I think I did 8 and yeah. Dan did 7. I have the video, but I don't, I, you guys switched twice this time. You did the 205, but you went on the 205 twice. Okay. I think, yeah, it was like 3 or 2 I had to yes. finish something like that. And then the 205 is when the wheels started coming off. This was hilarious. I just watched, were you first or second? You were second. Watching Dan do these 225 cleans. He hit the first one and he started turning and like stood up and then he went and touched the ground and did the second one and his foot was out and he was like, ah! Yeah, they were not and, and I was like, oh, he's gonna do two. And he goes for number three and he like, shoot. Oh! <laughs> Sets it down and runs. Yeah. And then he, he was, you could tell he was uh, in pain. Yeah. I went on dead set, I did four. When I ran back, I was in pain. Those those squat yeah. are heavy. Well, again, the original plan was just Dan and Huddy to do the cleans, and I warmed up to the, my cleans just just in case. Um, but this is a good call. Yeah, so he had four, and then he ran and tagged me, and my arms. So there was three left. Felt so freaking pumped. I was like, from the I, jump rope. Because you you have to see the video because the jump rope was like, yeah, like that. It was <laughs> blazing fast. I was like, I got this, and then I I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna have to send it. And I full sended that shit. And then they took the coolest picture I've ever seen in any CrossFit uh, picture of me jumping over the bar. The you time. hurtled over it. We got uh, second on that workout. So that was good. After taking a fourth, taking a second, I was pumped. And I think after that, we were sitting in like somewhere around eighth. I can't remember I think exactly. Sixth. sixth? I think that's we were sitting right. in sixth. And the last workout, uh, we weren't nervous for, but Dan was really nervous because there was four rounds of 60 foot handstand walk. So the workout was run around the field. So it was like 300 meters about, and then push a 400 pound sled, 60, 120 feet. One, one person, we did so, one person pull, yeah. two people push. You could push or pull. You could have two people pushing, two people pulling, whatever. And then a 60 foot handstand walk, four rounds. So me and Huddy are really good at handstand walking. 60 feet ain't nothing. Yeah, we don't. You wake me up in the middle of the night, you go like this. Roger, do a 60 foot handstand walk here. Everybody's dying. Oh, what? Okay. What? I'll, I'll get out of bed on my hands. It'd be fine. <laughs> Same with Huddy. But Dan. <laughs> everyone, get, on, get on a handstand walk. Everyone's dying. <laughs> yeah. Or everyone's going to die. Yeah. Um, so Huddy's like that too. But Dan had just, his first ever unbroken 50 foot handstand walk was like a month ago, maybe not even. Mm -hmm. And this is 60 feet for four rounds and you have to go 10 foot increments. So we get out there and we're like, all right, we're just gonna send it. And then Dan, we love you, good luck. So we did the run, I handstand walk. The run was together, the yeah. sleds were together, the 
the, the hands handsome walks were individual. Yeah, so one person, two person, third person. So we went before Dan so he could get a little bit of rest to kind of recompose because we can do handstand walks under fatigue. fatigue. That's not. Yeah. That's not. So he problem. put he was pulling the sled and then he had a little bit of rest before the handstand walk. Did he go unbroken on the first three rounds? I don't know if he went unbroken, but he did really well on the first three rounds. I don't think he did any unbroken. Yeah, but yeah. He, it, two sets. Yeah, two, two sets, sets for the first three. I think. Oh, wait, I have the video. You guys can check it out. But round four comes along. And oh, funny story. The very first three, two, one, go, me and Hudson were like the last two people on the run. Like, pretty much the I was the very last person. He was like the third or fourth to last on the first run. And then by the end of it, I was almost first on the run. <laughs> Dan was dying, and Huddy was just mid like he's he's fine, he's in the mid-pack. So we finished the hands. We were like walks. third in our heat or something like that. Yeah, we did pretty good. We finished the uh, handstand walks and me and Huddy are just waiting at the finish line for the very last one and Dan starts chugging along and we're like I don't know what he was thinking but I was like please please finish this Dan like do your best buddy and he gets 40 feet and then he comes down but he was looking real shaky at 40 feet so it, it hit him like a bag of bricks like he, yeah. was, he looked smooth like he, was he thought he might go and broken smooth, and now smooth, all of a sudden and then he fucking <laughs> fell yeah train wreck and then he went up for 40 and then he fell and I think he did that two or three times and the clock was ticking down. It was and like people were starting to come up. Yeah, next to him. and it was like fifteen forty. We were like, oh no! And then he got ten more feet, fell. So then we had ten feet left, and it was like, it was a sixteen minute time cap, and it was like fifteen forty one, fifteen forty two, and we were like, ah! Like oh my gosh, we're, these people are gonna pass Dan, and we're gonna suck at this workout. And then Dan, he muscled it out somehow. Ugliest handstand walk I ever seen in my life. He got it, and then we ended up taking six on that workout. We were one of six people to finish that workout. We were the sixth person to finish. Yeah. So we got sixth place, and that was a really, really motivating day. And then after day two, we were sitting in fourth. We went from being 22nd no, we to fourth. No, we were fifth, I believe. Oh, yeah, fourth. We were fourth, because then fourth. we went down and went back up. So after that, I was freaking ecstatic. I knew that we had a chance then to, like, yeah, see the podium. Yeah, it gave us hope again. We were like, oh, we could podium. Yeah. Except for the first place team. They were literally... they. They had, got like first, five, first, they had like first. five first place winners. Yeah. Winners. They should have been close. I don't even know why they were in RX, honestly. Yeah. I really, I really don't know. They I literally won almost every event. I wonder if they were one of those teams that were really good that just didn't do the qualifiers, but they paid their way to get to like a spot. Maybe. I don't know. I wonder. Anyways, um, super pumped. I was feeling myself after the second day. Yeah, we went and ate dinner with Dan's parents. It was a nice, it was a cool place. I got chicken pot pie. Dan got chicken pot pie. I don't know what you got. And we got cheese curds. They're amazing. I want cheese. What did I get? I don't remember. Oh, you got a burger. It was like barbecue. Or not barbecue. Uh, chicken burger. And you were like, this chicken's real thin. I think it was that day. It mm -hmm. might have been that day. Yeah. I got a chicken sandwich the other day and it was popping. Yeah. Like California puts mad steroids in their chicken. Yep. Yeah. Everyone else is just like all that natural, you know, <laughs> on the prairie. <laughs> on the prairie. <laughs> the chicken is eating real seeds and stuff. Yeah. What the heck, dude? Where are my yeah. artificial seeds? Where are my at? steroid seeds? Yeah. Um, so that was the end of day two. We felt really good. Uh, I didn't. I hate looking at the leaderboard. I don't like looking at the leaderboard. I really want my weekend to be just based off effort level. Obviously, the leaderboard is important if you're trying to win. Um, but I can't change anything at competition day, but him and Dan look at the leaderboard all day long, and so does everyone else. And we sat down at dinner, and I said, don't tell me where we are, I don't want to know. And then Dan's dad sat right down, he's like, so you guys are in fourth? And I was like, <laughs> cool, 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 make my nerves go up, because it makes me nervous. Uh, anyway, went home, tried to sleep, went to sleep again at like midnight or one, thunderstorms, it was lit, literally. And then day number three, the final day of competition. It started off with a workout that was two parts. So let's talk about like, oh. I wanted to point out that my body, I was a little sore, but I oh. wasn't bad. I, I felt, felt like a typical week of training. I felt better than a week of training. I felt fine. Yeah. I felt I felt like I do right now. And as we were walking into the warm-up area with all the athletes, yeah, everyone looked like they were zombies. And they smelled like Ben Gay and they were stretching and like, oh my, ow, I'm so sore. Everyone looked so sad. Yeah, everybody looked, and they say they're really sore and wrecked. Um, and it felt good to feel good, so thanks, coach. Yeah, and that, and that boosted us up. Yeah, yeah definitely. Us every, up. every time someone was like, oh, yeah, this is really sore, or how does this feel? And in my head, I'm like, I don't feel anything. I think they were psychologically are trying to get, an, like, oh, yeah, we are too, so they feel better about them not doing that yeah, well yeah, that yeah. day. Well, I was the opposite. I was like, I feel great. This feels like a normal week of training. Yeah. Um, oh, also, I think it was Saturday or Friday that I was cooling down. I asked somebody about the worm, and they had given me a tip. 
they told me the person in the front should pull forward, the person in the back should pull back to keep the worm taut. So the person in the middle is not just like falling. Um, so we practice that on Saturday night. I forgot about that. We practice our lunges. We practice our calling out and how we're going to approach the workout. Just an air worm, not on day we three. We had no object. We just practice like how we envisioned yeah, how it would be. Exactly. And so this is how the workout went. At three, two, one, go. I sprinted 200 yards. Huddy sprinted 200 yards. Dan sprinted 200 yards. That was workout number one. Then at the, the time cap was four minutes. You rest one minute. Then you pick up your worm, you run it across the field, you drop it, you switch facing the stands, and you do uh, 15 thrusters with the worm, and then you do a 60-foot lunge. You, then you do three rounds of that. Mm -hmm. um, our only goal, I even mentioned to these guys multiple times, I was like, don't worry about the other teams, just do what we can do. Don't worry about the other teams, let's just do what we can do. Smooth as fast. Yeah, and let's work, let's just focus on doing what that person told me, keeping it taut so it's not moving anywhere, and let's break it up, be smart. So at the call, three, two, one, go. We sprinted our butts off. In hindsight, I should have sprinted faster from the beginning, but that's all I had for the day, like whatever. Huddy sprinted faster than me, I guess, whatever, it's fine. And then Dan is just like a train, so he just did his best, he's a big boy. Yeah. Uh, we ended up getting seventh on the sprint relay, which was nice. But we, again, it was just like, do that, try to recover. And then three, two, one, go. At minute five on at, that same clock. Yeah, on that same clock. Everybody, for some reason, I think thought that you needed to get the worm and sprint with it across because that was an event, but it wasn't. The event was the get the worm across and then thrusters and lunges. So I told them, I was like, we're not sprinting with this worm. Just pick it up and try to catch your breath and then we'll move quickly. So we picked it up, everybody fucking flies and we just jog, we're like do 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 do. Drop it, we spin around and pick it up and we start these thrusters and it felt like a thousand times easier than Friday. It felt so much better than yeah, Friday. And the legs felt good and then we started doing lunges. Lunges felt fine, we finished, um, I mean, they were hard, but we finished those thrusters. It was, we only got people were dying on. So I think people went too hard on the thrusters too, and they were dying on the lunge because we looked. I, we felt pretty smooth. We broke what once on the lunge. I think maybe we broke once on the lunge. Where everyone else, <laughs> the guy everyone, next to us was dry heaving. Yeah, the, mid yeah lunge. the dude next to us was dry heaving. Um, but we only finished one round of, of that. Huh? Or did we finish two rounds? I don't remember. We finished one round and we, we finished, started some. We only got two thrusters in. Did we start the last round? I thought we did two sets of lunges. Well, because I think we dropped it mid lunch. Ah, uh, okay. I we did the whole so we only finished one round, and I think we got one, one two thruster. Yeah, thrusters. Um, but that was enough for 13th place on that workout. Now, which like, is half yeah. the placings we did the first yeah, time we had 27th. So thinking about it now, what I wanted to do, but again, it's, this is a team competition, I wanted to finish the lunge and just thruster until time was up. But we finished and we dropped it, and then we did a thruster, and Dan would just like, whoo! And he dropped it, and then they were like, let's do one more, and I was like, fuck it, we, no, we don't have time anymore. Um, so we did it, but maybe that would have been the difference in third place. But anyway, that was it. We were happy with that we didn't get, we redeemed ourselves on the worm. We didn't let it completely demolish our souls. Uh, and then the, we had one workout left, and we knew that we could do really well in this workout because we're all pretty decent at these movements. And honestly, I thought I was not gonna be good on this workout. Uh, I ended up crushing the burpees, so. You made up a lot of time on the burpees. Yep, so here was the workout. It's a little bit different for each person. Three, two, one, go. Athlete one does 30 box jump overs at 30 inches. They do 25 Five. deadlifts, and then they do 20 burpees over the bar. They go tag athlete two. Athlete two does 25 box jump overs, 20 deadlifts, 30 burpees over your bar. Athlete three, 20 burpee box, 20 just box jump overs, sorry. 30 deadlifts and 25 burpees. And I chose mine because I'm really good at box jump overs and I'm not, well I thought I wasn't that great at burpees but it was great. So I did my 30 faster than everybody else. I was in first place for sure. Then I did, I had to drop the bar on 25 deadlifts. I was just dying. Deadlifts have you been- Did you drop it twice? I dropped it twice. I did 15, five and five. Uh, and if you guys know my history, my back is, I'm coming back from a back injury. Uh, and these deadlifts felt great. I just didn't want to test it. It is the end of the weekend. Let's be smart. Finish those. And then the fastest burpees everybody, anybody's ever seen in their whole life, I think I performed. Um, would you agree with that? Yeah. I, would, I was afraid until I saw these burpees. Like, oh, okay, good. He's yeah. making up for it on there. Huddy said I had fast burpees, which is a compliment because Huddy is usually the They fastest. were faster than mine for sure. Yeah, it was lit. Uh, the video's up too. So then Dan, <laughs> the best video of Dan ever on the whole weekend is on this workout. So Dan goes, he does the box jump overs, he does great. He does the deadlifts, he does great. And he was dying on the burpees. You could tell he was getting real fatigued because it was 30. He pushes the bar 
and then he runs fee fi fo fum and like Huddy's hands like out over here and he just fucking dies and tags his hands <laughs> and then Huddy goes Yeah, he just put, he broke our sign and everything. It was awesome. It's on my Instagram as well And then Huddy goes and Energizer bunnies it does the deadlifts and broken 30 of them and then finishes the workout uh, I've actually never seen Hudson this fatigued in my whole life He awesome. literally he literally hit hit the finish mat and laid there in pain I've never seen Huddy in, in pain like that before except for a soap bike um, and we left it all out there. Like we gave that shit everything we had. We and took third on. We that got workout. third on that workout. Um, no thoughts on that workout. It was just, I pretty much summed it up. We took some pictures and then we walked off the field. And Huddy and Dan couldn't even walk up the stairs. They were so fatigued. Oh yeah, I was. My hamstrings were blown. <laughs> and the next day there was. It's like they so couldn't. It's like they couldn't relax, right? Yeah. So have you ever guys have ever done a workout where? You just have to do so many reps, and like then you couldn't find a comfortable position. That's probably what he felt like. Yeah. And Dan as well. Um, and then we walked, and we walked, and we kept refreshing the leaderboard. And then we walked to like the front of the hockey center, and we were determining like should we stay for awards or did we not make it? And then finally we refreshed, and it said we got fourth. And then Huddy cried soft tears. And the goal was to get off the podium and propose. Yeah, so that'd be so sick. I feel like a badass, but yeah, I ended up doing it back at her cabin. It was still nice. It was hilarious. Yeah, she still. Uh, she did say though, she's she glad you didn't do it on the podium. Well, because she like she probably would have been nervous and stuff, and all the eyes on her. But I think, in retrospect, she probably would have liked it. I would have liked. It. I would have felt badass. So, yeah. oh well. Meow. My dog's crying in my bedroom. All right. Well, yeah. um, well, the whole then then the weekend ended with probably like the best thing ever. We went back home. We had some drinks. We hung out. Literally, this was the most fun trip I've I think ever had in my whole life. Yeah, it was a blast. Yeah, ten next, out of ten would do it again. Next time we gotta we'll plan to have a few days afterwards. We can chill more and explore. Well, next year it's not gonna be at Minnesota or in St. Cloud anymore. So they say. So we'll see where it's gonna be. Maybe it'll be in a cooler spot, more touristy. Because in Minnesota, all it really is is Mall of America. Otherwise, there's lots of grass. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, but it was cool experience. Second time there. Second, it was also our second big, like competition, competition three day weekend competition. So I love them. Like it really tests you as an athlete, and not just like, you know, a week at, like a, a day comp where it's kind of like, okay, yeah, how good are you? Just hitting one or two workouts. Right. Like it's testing you over a lot of different uh, attributes. So yeah, that's another thing that I want to say before this uh, camera dies is a lot of competitions that we've done in the past are one day three or four events and it's not really it's good. very one sided it's not a really good test of fitness it'll be like really high strength events and every time we've gone to a competition that has enough enough workouts in it to show some like more broad overall fitness we are definitely like we're there like we're we're definitely better than mediocre we're not quite elite we're we're kind of in that middle a few small holes yeah and yeah. uh so we're getting there guys if we talked to you 6 years ago this was our dream, so then we're doing it, so. I remember six years ago, I couldn't snatch uh, like 135 consistently. Yeah. Yeah. And we tried Guadapalooza qualifier and we got almost last, dead last in the qualifier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too good. Yeah. All right, well, if you guys wanna see those Granny Game videos, find me on Instagram, at Roger Lopez. Yeah, we plan on doing more interview uh, podcasts soon. We got a few lined up, so make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. We have like, 300 views, only 30 subscribers, it makes sense. So you guys should all subscribe. If you yeah. watch this far, you have to subscri subscribe. Stop, 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 stop. You have to subscribe, okay? Subscribe. All right. If you made this for, comment down below so we know you guys watched it. Yeah. Thanks, Don't guys. Don't be lazy um, Let us know what you want to talk about. See you guys in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell your mom you love her. See you guys next time.